Oh, I got a new microphone. The camera setup is a bit different today. I think it looks really, really nice. So if you guys kind of think this is awesome, make sure you like it, subscribe, you know, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Um, also, I've been doing daily uploads on this channel and my second channel, which I'm going to link at the end of the video. It's 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 called ZechX. It's my face. Uh, and basically, it's kind of vlog and behind the scenes. I talk about camera gear and stuff that I use to make this ch channel work. This is my main channel, obviously. So you can go and check out that channel as well if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, but no pressure, obviously. But I've been uploading kind of daily on two channels, which is about 14 uploads, if not maybe a bit less a week which is a lot of videos and i think for the effort i put in you know I, I would appreciate the support a lot if you try to help out my channel and that is just by liking my videos subscribing commenting sharing all that all that stuff any sort of viewer interaction uh, helps out my channel a lot inside of the algorithm so i would appreciate if you did help it out anyway let's just end that off here let's just talk about the video topic today now this today's video is more of a rant video i haven't done this in a while where i just talk straight into the camera so i thought i'll just do it today also i figured uh this thing has kind of been on my mind for a while and i really just don't like the fact that it happens all the time and that is um the idea that we constantly need to upgrade and constantly need to buy new better stuff i i am at for i am guilty of this totally 100 percent. i'm not i'm not free of this i personally am am very susceptible to wanting new stuff wanting better stuff uh, but personally, I try to obviously mitigate it. If not, I would be a hypocrite if I, if if I if I didn't if I didn't at least try to reduce it. But I would be also a liar if I said that I completely am free of it and coming from a moral high ground. I'm saying this as a person who's kind of reflected a little bit and just kind of noticed around me just the 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 sheer obsession in the tech world with upgrading, getting better stuff. So my the title of this video is please don't upgrade your PC gear. But I think what I want to point out in this video is applicable to all aspects of just the whole consumerism kind of world, be it fashion, be it cameras, be it tech, be it phones, be it headphones, be it computers. Uh, of course, we're going to focus on PC gaming as kind of a prime example. But I think my point still stands. We are overly obsessed in this world with getting something better and upgrading rather than enjoying what we have. And that is detrimental to us, uh, our psyche, detrimental to our lives, detrimental to the environment, detrimental to society. It's not a good idea. To, you know, and it's, 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 not like, it's not like me dissing consumerism and capitalism as a whole. I think there is benefits to this, to, to smart economy, you know, the way that economy works. But I'm just saying as an individual, we should, you know, take a step back and be more reflective and more introspective as to our spending and purchasing habits because the way we consume things uh, really needs to change to, you know, improve this world. I think that's a big problem as well. So let's start. Let's just do uh, the PC gaming example because this is a PC, mostly PC gaming kind of channel. So this will be uh, more easier to reach out to you guys with my point. So my point is this: um, we're too obsessed with upgrading. I've seen so many comments where they're like, "Oh man, I only have a GTX 970. Oh man, I only have a GTX 1060. I really, you know, I can't play this game. It's not. It sucks. My computer sucks. I, I really hate it." But the frank, the, the but but then I look at the computer specs and I go, "That's fine. You know, I." I lived with a Pentium G3258 and an R9 270 uh, for five years up to, up to about 20, 2017, 2018 before I bought my Ryzen system. Uh, and I was perfectly happy with it. I could game, video edit, and, and do stuff on it. And I, I, I never understood people who were obsessed with upgrading. Uh, of course, I am personally very obsessed with upgrading my cameras and stuff. And I can on my heart. I'm kind of guilty of it. But... The more I look at it, the more I think about it, the more I realize that, you know, as a tech reviewer, am I really, should I really be constantly recommending stuff or not recommending stuff? Because I think a lot of people misconstrued tech reviews. They, they, they don't understand what the point of tech reviews are. Tech reviews are supposed to tell you if you were someone who were in need of this thing or if you're someone who was in need of a particular thing, should you buy it? Is it good? Is this the better option to buy? When I say when I recommend someone in a tech review, when I recommend something in a tech review, or when Nice Tech Tips does it, or when MKBHD does it, they're not asking you to go out and buy it, you know, uh, specifically if you weren't thinking about buying in the first place. What they're actually doing is just saying that if you were considering this, if you were looking for a phone in this price range, if you were looking for this headphone in this price range, if you were looking to upgrade this is the better option or that is the better option or this is a good choice or this is, that is a bad choice. They're not telling you, oh, you need to upgrade. You know, this is really good. So whatever you have sucks. 
Uh, and I guess that's kind of the implicit message almost with social media flexing and all that. Like it's just humans are social creatures. The peer pressure is always there to want to be kind of the top. And we tinkerers, we geeks, we nerds, we always want to be on the cutting edge and have fun with like the coolest stuff. But I think because of this obsession, we often lose the plot. We often lose track of what really matters. So when we build a PC, we forget that we build a PC to game like like we build a gaming pc to game and i've seen so many people who just obsessed with getting better graphics and getting a better computer that that as a result they're just always constantly thinking about getting a better gpu and and they spend more time just trying to overclock and get better performance than actually having fun with the computer um and i'm not saying that overclockers i'm not saying that people who are tinkerers and who are big just they're, they're fans of the technology they're not fans of really the, what the technology can do are, are bad people or like screwed up people i'm not saying that that's the case i'm just saying that that for the average consumer because of this whole idea that we always want to be the best most value most most performance we always forget that you know, we should take a step back and just enjoy what we have sometimes. I, I see these comments, you know, I have a GTX 1060, man, I can't get 60 FPS in this game, I just can't stand it. Uh, I, I, I'll just wait till the GPUs get cheaper, the new GPUs come out that are cheaper, and I'll just buy those and, and, and then before I even play this game. Then I just go like, you, you have a gaming PC. Sure, it won't give you the best, most optimal performance and most optimal experience ever, but if the whole point of a gaming PC, the whole point of you having a gaming PC in the first place is to game, why are you holding off on gaming just because your gaming PC isn't the best, 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 best gaming PC? I, it, I think I saw this, I saw a lot of these types of comments on my Cyberpunk GTX 1070 Ti video. And that was kind of what led me to this whole kind of video concept because I was seeing these comments, I was going, okay, you can only get 30 FPS in medium and 1440p. I, I played 200 hours on Cyberpunk. With, with with that settings with like that with kind of that level of performance, and and I, I had a great time. So I was just reading these comments and going, what's so bad about having slightly less performance? I was I was going reading all these comments, going like, what what's so bad about not having the best, the best? And, and it just kind of led me to think of the reasons and all these reasons. And I think fundamentally, it's got to do with how we're just up, we're just kind of influenced by media in general and just influenced by people around us and media in general and as a result you know you just kind of end up with with people who we, we just kind of end up with obsessions and desires that are, are basically insatiable as described in economics uh, and, and as a result there's this constant desire to upgrade stuff and then we just i think because of this a lot of people are unhappy with what they have be it in the camera world the computer world and all that stuff uh, and, and this rant has been going on way too long, so I'm just going to want to end it off very quickly. I'm just going to wrap it up. My whole point is just this. I think it's important that we take a step back and just appreciate, you know, what we have and just have fun with what we have instead of just, you know, being obsessed with getting a good experience before before jumping into a game like Cyberpunk, for example, was a big example of this. It's just so many people saying, oh, I will get 3070 before I even touch this game because I, if I play this game, I want it to be a really like high FPS experience. If not, I don't want to play it at all. Then I'm just going like, I played it on 30 FPS on medium settings, low settings sometimes, and I had basically one of the best gaming experiences of my life. Graphics really doesn't matter in a game because gameplay and story are frankly more important. And that's what we've learned as time went on with Undertale, with Minecraft, with, with all these games where graphics is far from the most important thing and and where where story and gameplay was was so unique that it was so riveting that these that, that we had fun with it you know we had so much fun with it they win awards you know so many people are obsessed with it games like counter-strike league of legends dota they're timeless classics because they're exciting not because they have good graphics i think the obsession with graphics and high performance pcs for like high performance you know, fancy graphic experience. It's cool and fun, but I think there's too much obsession of it. I think at the end of the day, what's very important is that we need to start stepping back and calming, calming our tits, my, pardon my French, uh, when it comes to like specs and PCs and hardware. Just take a step back, okay? Look at what you have. Sure, if you have like a MacBook Pro from 20, 2010 and you literally can't run any games, upgrade your PC, you know, upgrade that thing because, you know, you want at least a decent experience. But for someone with a decent kind of mid-range PC from three to four years ago, there frankly isn't a need to upgrade. It isn't, technology isn't improving as fast as you think it is. And 
as games progress and they get more mature, as the world of video games get more mature, it's, it's, it's more and more becoming an art form where, unlike before, where having good graphics is a, a great reason to try out a game, we've, reached, we've kind of reached a point where graphics are so good, it doesn't really matter. And we, we're not impressed by good graphics anymore. We just care about the gameplay. And I think we need to remember that. There's a lot of fun to be had, even if you're running at 20, 30 FPS. And I think we should, should just chill out on the spending, chill out on the upgrading, chill out on the obsession of obtaining what's next, what's better, and just like have fun. It's what you have. Instead of being that old man, instead of being that old man with health problems because he worked his ass off to get money and, and basically never cherished his time that he had when he was young, be that you know, old man who is happy with a nice family. Maybe he isn't as rich, but he's had a very fruitful time because he wasn't obsessing over money. Uh, and this kind of idea can be transferred over to tech. Be that guy who in five years' time will look back his time uh, working with computers and gaming on PCs as having plenty of fun with a huge number of different games. As opposed to being that guy five years down the, ro- five years down the road with maybe the cutting-edge computer, but realizing that, oh... I'm five years older now. I need to work. I have no time to game. But when I was younger, I was too obsessed with getting the best performance. So I never got a chance to game. Like if you have a chance to have fun with, a co- with what you paid for, the gaming computer you paid for, just have fun with it. Stop worrying. Stop obsessing. And just like launch the game. Go into Steam. Have a bit of fun. Hop on Discord. Chat with your friends. Grab a drink. And enjoy and immerse yourself in the PC games that you like and you want to play right now, right here. It doesn't matter about graphics. It doesn't matter about performance. So long as you can run the game, just run it. And I know that's kind of a big if in the case of some games like Cyberpunk. But so long as you can run the game, so long as you can get an experience that you know allows you to see what the developers wanted you to see, to, to immerse yourself in the story or the gameplay, just have fun. Stop worrying. Stop obsessing over technical details that should only be obsessed over by engineers and have a little bit of fun. I'm not saying you can't upgrade your computer. I'm just saying sometimes don't. (laughs) Don't think about it too much. I'm going to end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. It'll be coming out tomorrow. I've been doing daily uploads, so make sure you subscribe, like, support this channel if you like what I'm doing here. I'm trying to start something uh, and this year's New Year's resolution is to upload every single day on two channels. I don't know how long that will last, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm seriously on the edge. I'm trying my best to keep it up. And I think I can. Uh, but I just need your support, you know, that little bit of boost in the algorithm to really make it worthwhile. So see you guys next time. Uh, I'll end it off here. Goodbye.